In this task I'm going to be discussing how to use M8 detector paper. For reference on this that you can look up yourself, use STP 21-1-SMCT, the Soldier's Manual of Common Tasks, Skill Level 1. I am using the 1994 edition. The reason I'm using the 94 edition and not one of the newer ones is this is the last good edition that was very complete and not screwed up. We used this edition for 10 years and then all subsequent editions they had to issue a new one every 6 to 12 months because they screwed up stuff in the, in the tasks or they left out a complete section. Uh, one of the common sections that has been left out of the newer editions is NBC tasks. So use the 1994 edition if you're trying to find information on nuclear, biological, chemical warfare tasks. On how to survive, how to mask up, how to do checks for contamination. There are two times that you use M8 detector paper. One is you come across suspected contamination and the second time is when you are checking your water supply so that you can use it to either hydrate yourself, try to drink, or you are going to use it to decontaminate your eyes to flush them out. The first step we're going to be doing here is using M8 paper for identifying chemical contamination. I'm going to be using this step. Identify chemical agents using M8 detector paper, task number 031-503-1013. Given an area where liquid chemical agents have been used, you observe a liquid that might be a chemical agent. You are in mission-oriented protective posture, level 4 or MOP4. You have a booklet of M8 detector paper in your mass carrier. Now, you're out on patrol. Chemical agents have been being used recently. You come across oily looking droplets on vegetation and we're saying that there is on this plant as we're out on patrol. We find it on the path. We go immediately to MOP4. We put our masks on if we don't or do not have them on already. Then one person pulls out the booklet of M8 paper from their mask carrier. They open it up. The sheets are perforated. You take out half a sheet. You can test it by just blotting like this, but it is highly recommended you do not get too close to the possible contamination. So you need to use a stick. Using the stick, you go up to where the droplets are, and you wipe it, wipe the droplets with the paper, trying to get as much of the agent onto the paper as possible. And then you look for a color change. If there is a reaction, it's detected something. If there is no reaction, it either cannot identify what the agent is, or it is not a chemical agent. We're going to say that there was a reaction. The inside of the booklet here, it can detect three types of agents with M8 paper. G type nerve agents, H type blister agents, and V type ner nerve agents. The G type nerves are a yellow to golden color. The H type blisters come out a red to purplish in color on the M8 paper and the V-type nerves come out green to bluish in color. So we have a cult reaction on there. We compare it on the chart and that tells us what type of agent it is. The series, not necessarily the exact type of agent. Then we double check using another set of M8 paper from another troop. If we get the same reaction, 
We call that a confirmed positive and we call it in. Now the second time that we use M8 detector paper is when we're checking our water supplies. Now I'm going to be using just a regular bottle of water here. I'm not going to be using a canteen. Now you're in MOP4. Your TA50, your LBV, your LBE, your Molly, your plate carrier, whatever is on the outside of your chemical suit. You unbutton your canteen pouch or unbuckle it if you have a newer type Molly pouch. If you have a Camelback, you know, it'll be a little bit different, but you'll get the idea. Push up on the bottom of your canteen carrier to push your canteen up and out. When you take out the canteen, do not grab it by the cap like you may normally do. Grab it by the body and then lift it out of the carrier. Bring it forward using two fingers. Unscrew the cap just a little bit, not all the way. Take it. Now, if water does not come out of the carry out of the canteen, you can squeeze the sides a little bit, and the pressure should force water out. So we're checking, and this is negative. Now, if there is a positive, just like with doing a check on the agent on the plant, you open up your booklet and look in there. Now, with a camelback, I'd say more than likely it would be contaminated. But with that, you will have to check the coupler, make sure that that is not contaminated. And you will have to squeeze your camelback a little bit to get water through the coupler and then test the water that way. This is a fairly simple task. And as I said, if you want to find out more, look up the basic common task manual. No, that is not my name. This is a extra one that I purchased offline. Always have extra copies to hand out for new members if they don't have any. Now for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movement, always remember, SAONs.